If you have an animal and are struggling to focus on work while quarantined at home, listen up. We may have an answer. Heather Fountaine is on your side tonight with some tips every working from home person with a pet should know. For many of us, working from home is becoming the new normal. That means conference calls from the comfort of your kitchen. Oh! But it could also mean more distractions. Don't get me wrong, I love my dog. Oh, you want a treat? But if we have to manage like this for months, we'll need some tricks to help our pups cooperate so that we can concentrate. Free. Come on, baby. Introducing Rich Harden, owner of Double H Canine. The two biggest things that we teach dogs is for impulse control. In other words, how to handle. Uh, distractions or not rushing the door. He's been training dogs for 24 years, hoping a few simple lessons can help create some harmony in your home. Good job, buddy. If you need some peace and quiet, here's trick number one, place, featuring Pippi the Poodle. Place. We're going to help her. She gets up. Good girl. Yes. Harden says any dog bed will do. You can use treats or toys at first to lure your pet to their place. We're going to ask her just to hold that behavior for a few seconds. Free. And then we're going to release her. We're going to come right back around. Harden suggests doing this five to ten minutes at a time, three or four times a day, and the kids can help. There you go. This is just one way that we found to be very successful, teaching dogs just to hold behavior for long periods of time. Trick number two, wait. My dog really wants to go outside, but I'm going to become the barrier to keep the dog from going outside until they do what we ask them to do. Harden uses Doug the Doodle to demonstrate. Walk up to the door. We ask Doug to wait. Wait. Doug should hold his position and we free. We go right through the door. Owners can start with closet or garage doors, for example, before leading their dogs outside. Harden suggests 10 minutes at a time, four times a day. Good boy, good job, Doug. Trick three, targeting. Hop. Hop. Michael Davis, owner of TLC K9 and his girl Oakley, show us first. We want the muzzle and the nose to touch the center object, the target itself. And once she does. Good girl. Oh, you got the light. Good job. Davis says Good craft girl. time with the kids can be used to make the target. Keep it the size of your child's fist. It should have three colors, the darkest in the middle. By utilizing this and by taping it onto anything, we can teach a dog to retrieve, to fetch, and or to turn something on or to bring us something. Davis says this one takes time and consistency. Getting your pet to touch the target 30 times in a row, at least. That's three tricks and one happy household. Heather Fountaine, WHIS 11 News.